After all of our research, we've come up with our own opinion on human migration to North America. Today, on Documentify TV, let's get the argument started as we go out on a limb to bring this all to light. We believe that the primary route of human migration to North America was via the Beringian land bridge after the last ice age. However, we also acknowledge the possibility of other migration routes, such as the Pacific coast or even European migration, and the potential for pre-ice age populations. DNA studies have consistently shown a close genetic link between Native American populations and East Asian populations, suggesting a common ancestor. This is often attributed to migration across the Beringian land bridge. Numerous archaeological sites, especially those in Alaska and the Yukon, have uncovered artifacts and human remains dating back to the end of the last ice age. These findings align with the Beringian hypothesis. The Beringian land bridge was exposed during the last glacial maximum, providing a viable pathway for human migration. This period coincides with the earliest evidence of human presence in North America. One reason why there has been no evidence found of human habitation in North America before the last glacial maximum is likely due to the ice sheet coverage. During the peak of the last glacial maximum, which occurred approximately 26,500 years ago, much of North America was covered by vast ice sheets. These ice sheets would have made human habitation extremely difficult or impossible. The conditions would have been harsh, with limited resources and dangerous terrain. As the ice sheets began to retreat, the land became more hospitable, and humans could have started to migrate southward. By around 19,000 years ago, significant portions of the ice sheets had melted, allowing for the expansion of human populations into previously inhospitable areas. By approximately 10,000 years ago, most of the major ice sheets had retreated, marking the end of the glacial maximum and the beginning of the Holocene epoch. The possibility of humans being in North America before the Ice Age started is a complex one. While there's no conclusive evidence to support this theory, it's not entirely implausible. If humans were present in North America before the Ice Age, they might have retreated southward as the ice sheets advanced, only to repopulate the continent as the ice retreated. This could be why some evidence suggests this in archaeological discoveries in Alaska and the Bluefish Caves, more specifically in Yukon. The idea of southern humans from South America migrating northward as the ice retreated is intriguing. However, there's currently limited evidence to support this specific hypothesis. Genetic studies and archaeological findings have primarily focused on the connection between Native American populations and East Asian populations, suggesting a more northern origin for most Native American groups. While the evidence for pre-Ice Age human habitation in North America is limited, it's an area of ongoing research as scientists continue to explore archaeological sites, analyze genetic data, and study climate records, we may gain a better understanding of the earliest human presence in the Americas. What do you think? Do you agree with our hypothesis? Are there any other theories or evidence you'd like to share? Let us know in the comments below. Until then, folks, see you in our next video, right here on Documentify TV.